Hey everybody, let's practice using the method of joints for this problem. Uh, this one particularly asks for the axial forces in members BC and CD, but the method of joints allows you to solve for everything. Okay, so let me, uh, let's take a look at the geometry a little bit. So we know this angle here, this theta is actually it was three feet and three feet, so it's actually just 45 degrees, right? So this is also 45. So we know all of these angles, actually. This is also 45. I'll just call it generically theta. It would be arc tangent of opposite divided by adjacent. So if these numbers were a little different, right, it'll just be theta is arc tangent of opposite over adjacent. Okay, so let's just go joint to joint. I'll just do them in alphabetical order. So joint A, here, here. AC, AB, and there's a roller there. Okay, next, oh, that's roller at A. Next, joint B, here, here, here. Okay, so. This is AB, one up here is BC, the one at the angle is BD, and again, we know this angle is 45. And there is a reaction at the pin support B. So if I pick coordinates, I will decompose the reaction at B into X and Y components. Okay, next joint C. Uh, let's see how just more there's space. Joint C here, here, there, there. Okay, so this is between A and C, C and E, C and D, B and C. Okay, and we know these angles, right? That's theta, that's theta. Okay, joint D, so over here, like this, this, this. So this is between D and E, this is between C and D, this is B and D. We know this angle. Okay, and let's go to the last one, joint E. Here, here, D and E. C and E, and then the 600 pound load. And we know this angle. Okay, so where should we start? Let's take a look in order. Three unknowns. Five unknowns. Four unknowns. Three unknowns. Two unknowns. Let's start there with the two unknowns. Okay, so I have x here, y here, so in the x direction, negative 600 pounds, minus t, c, e, cosine theta, y direction, negative t, c, e, sine theta, minus t, d, e. Two equations, two unknowns, so right, look, um, right here, solve that one first. You know the answer. Plug it in right, oh, right here, and then solve for this. So now we know both this and this, CE and DE. And now look right here. CE is the same as right here. Okay, and then let's see right here. DE is the same as right here. Okay, so these are known. So where should we go next? So this used to have four unknowns. Now it only has three. This used to have three unknowns. Now it only has two. Let's do that one. Okay, so... X direction, negative. TCD minus TBD 
cosine theta, y direction, t d e minus t b d sine theta. And then we already know this. Okay, so that means there's only two unknowns. Which one should we solve first? This one, right? Solve for t b d, you know the answer. Plug it in right here. So for this one. So now we know CD and see how it's the same as right here. So we know this, which is the same as right here. And now we know this BD, which is the same as this one right here. Okay, so now let's, where should we go next? This used to have four unknowns, now it only has two. We should do that one. Okay, so let's do that. Let me make some space. Okay, so x direction. Let's start here. Negative TAC cosine plus right here TCD plus this one, CE cosine. Y direction, let's start here, minus TAC sine, this one, minus TBC, this one, plus TCE sine. And then again, CE and CD we know, leaving us with two unknowns. Where should you go solve this one, right? TAC, you got the answer. Plug it in right here. So for D, T, B, C. So now we know A, C here, which is the same as here. And now we know B, C here, which is the same as here. Okay, where do we go next? This has two unknowns. This one has three unknowns. So let's definitely go with the one with less. Okay, so x direction, t a b plus t a c cosine equals zero. Y direction, t a c sine plus a equals zero. Again, a c we know Okay, so straightforward, solve this one for AB, solve this one for reaction force A. So now we know A and reaction at AB, which is the same as here. So now we have the last one, this, with two unknowns. Okay, so let me make some space here. Okay, so x direction. Uh, let's start right here. Negative TAB over here. BX and right here. BD cosine. Okay, y direction here. Here. BD sine. And here. Again, we know this, 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 and this. Only two unknowns. Bx and by, right? So straightforward. Solve this for bx. Solve this for by. And now we know everything everywhere. All the reactions at the supports, all the axial forces. If your answer, so I drew all my arrows going out of the joint in tension. So if you you punch the number in the calculator and you get a positive value, right? Then whatever, um, whatever pounds tension, if the number is positive. If the number is negative, whatever pounds compression. Okay, so make sure you label tension or compression. 
Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have other requests, and I'll see you in the next video.